Yo guys, it's James and this video might just be one of my best videos yet. It's certainly a very good topic, it's just a question of whether I can execute it well enough or not but today I want to talk about one success, uh, one trait that I've noticed between every hyper successful person that I've had an opportunity to meet or sit down with or even become friends with because up until my life, up until this point I've been lucky enough to sit down with a few you know hyper successful people and even become friends with some and when I say hyper successful I'm saying you know I don't really have an exact definition for it I would say you know anyone who's net worth above 10 mil or you know they've sold a company they don't have to work anymore if they don't want to and they pretty much just live life on their terms right okay that's gonna mean it's gonna have a different definition for everyone but that's roughly what I'm talking about here okay now Something that you won't know about me is I am more of an introvert, okay? I much prefer to listen than talk. Obviously, when I make these videos, I'm the one talking, you're the one listening, so you wouldn't know that. But generally, uh, I'm a naturally more of a quiet person anyway. But whenever I'm, I'm around people who uh, you know, are hyper successful, I'm just very quiet because I just want to listen and learn. And this might sound like a little bit weird, but I watch them. I observe them because I want to know what makes them tick. I want to know how they see the world. I want to know what goes through their mind. What are they doing that I'm not doing? Because if I just copy what they did, I will eventually get similar results, right? If you do the same actions, you're going to get similar results. You're never going to get the same results because you just come, you just doing the same actions at a different time and the way the universe works is all about timing but if you do the same actions as someone else you can get a similar result okay uh, so the best way to just learn I believe is to just learn from other people who have done exactly what you want to do that's the great thing about hiring a coach and why it can fast track your progress is because they've already done what you want to do you know already with themselves and with clients thousands uh, not thousands but you know many times already so you can just fast track your success okay so if you copy the same actions you should get a similar kind of result <clears throat> now to explain this I want to talk tell you a little story okay now before I became a coach uh, I was a software engineer I was in IT and stuff like that and one of my friends who is you know one of the most successful people that I know obviously knows this we're at the gym one day and he was like, hey James, I've got an idea for this like AI application. Um, with the state of technology and AI how it is right now, is it possible to do like face recognition within images and stuff like this? And I'm not gonna go into my exact answer because I don't wanna bore you with like technical details and stuff like that. But really, at a high level, I just told him what a few options are and where, what direction he should look in and what he should research, okay? I basically told him some tools that are available and where he could find the answers that he wanted to find. It was a quick five minute conversation, that was that. We went on with our session and just carried on with our day. The very next day, okay, he comes to me and he goes, oh yeah, um, that was really good advice, thanks for that. I've got a team sorted, uh, we've, we've started the project already. <laughs> Right, so less than 24 hours after him asking me about this, he already has a six man team, he's already started the project. And the lesson in this, and the realization that I had, is this guy moves fast. Okay, this guy has an idea and then he just does it straight away. And anyone who I've managed to get close with is they, they move fast. The time between the idea and the execution is, is so small, there's almost no lag time. Whereas a lot of people, and certainly for myself, I spent months and months and months thinking about, oh, maybe I should do this thing. I spent months thinking about, I should make YouTube videos before I made them, okay? And there's been times in my life, you know, even before to get to this point, where I just spent months and months and years thinking about, oh, maybe I should do this thing. But anyone who is hyper successful has a very short lag time between idea and execution. And I don't know whether you've ever heard the saying that money loves speed, okay, money loves speed, but it's not just money that loves speed, it's just success in general. The faster you go, the better it is, because <clears throat> the temptation, right, 
the temptation is to go slow so you don't make mistakes and I think this comes from school because the way the education system is designed is that you can fail tests and you need to avoid failing and you need to get a high score and the, the way it's all, all, it's all set up is kind of not conducive to having a successful life and certainly building a business because you're going to make mistakes and you have to make mistakes it's the only way to progress in uh, a sport or in, in business or in life is to make mistakes and learn from them or learn from other people's mistakes right so what happens is when you move quick okay you shorten the feedback loop so you move fast you make a mistake and then you learn okay this doesn't work this does work I'm gonna do more of what does work and less of what doesn't work okay so the feedback cycle is very quick but what happens is is the temptation is to go slow and I think this comes from school and you know we want to go slow so we don't make mistakes but it's impossible we have to make mistakes in order to like progress right and sometimes the temptation is to not do something until you feel ready but here's the kicker you never feel ready until after you've started right so you've got to understand that mistakes are in inevitable you will make mistakes mistakes are a prerequisite to success so given that you now know that information all right do you want to learn from them quickly or slowly would you rather make the mistakes today or in a year or in two years or never make them you know what I mean and this is why successful people or one of the reasons why successful people are where they're at is because they act fast they take action fast, they don't overthink, they just do, and they learn the lessons faster, so they just move quicker, right? And uh, I'll make other videos on this in the future, but I really think procrastination is the killer of all hopes and dreams, okay? Procrastination is one of the worst things you can do, and I feel like, especially for young people of today's age, it really plagues them. I was a massive procrastinator, you know, before, I managed to like get on track and st I still catch myself doing it today but honestly if whatever you want in life procrastination is not going to help you get there there is nothing good that comes with procrastination and thinking and waiting most people spend far too much time thinking and not enough time just doing okay you've really you've got to act fast uh, act fast and don't wait around don't wait till you're ready like we really only have like one life okay i'm sure you've all heard the term yolo you only live once we've only got one crack at this game called life we're only on this spinning rock once okay and every single day we're a day closer to death that's the sad reality okay so if you're not moving fast and your temptation is to go slow and you just want to chill and you'll do it tomorrow you'll do it next week you'll do it next month you'll do it when you're ready guess what you're never gonna do it you'll never do those things right you have to move fast you have to be prepared to break things you have to be prepared to make mistakes you have to be prepared to look silly look if I wasn't prepared to look silly I would never be making these videos right now go back and watch my first videos and look <laughs> just look how bad they are and even these videos right now right in a year's time I'm gonna look back and I'm gonna laugh at these videos as well but the only way to move forward is to just do things despite not feeling ready is to do things even though you're not good at them it's like you know as a kid when you wanted to learn to walk you know you didn't like try and walk and fall down and then cry and then just give up and you never carried on walking again you just you know you got up and you tried and tried and tried and tried and eventually you started walking okay so we have this ability in us humans have the ability to get up and learn how to walk what's happened is it school is it the school system is it society I don't know I don't know what's going on but we all have this innate desire in us to just keep on getting back up like humans are so uh, so durable you know we're so much better than we we think we are okay we're, we're so much capable we've we've dominated the planet if you look at humans compared to every single other species we've absolutely dominated this planet and you know I think sometimes we forget just how good we are all right so if you move fast and you don't wait and you break things and you make mistakes you are going to have learned a hundred lessons before the next guy has even decided what he's going to have for dinner 
okay? The next guy, he hasn't even got started yet and you've already learned uh, a bunch of mistakes and a bunch of, you've made a bunch of mistakes, you've already learned what doesn't work, you've already learned what does work. You are in a much better position. Maybe on the surface, it looks like you haven't like really grown that much, but your knowledge of what you've learned from what works and what doesn't puts you at a massive advantage compared to the guy who hasn't even started yet. And what people, what successful people do is they just make the decision quickly. They don't think about it, it's either a yes or a no, and they just get on with it. And what I see a lot of people do is an analogy that I like to use to explain this is, uh, you know, browser tabs. You know when you're on the internet and you've got like lots of browser tabs open, some people have loads of tabs open. You know, you know when you've got so many tabs open that you, you can't even see them, they're just so small. Maybe some of you watching this video right now have loads of tabs open, okay? Well, some people live their life like that with just lots of decisions that they haven't said yes or no to. It's just like maybe, maybe. They're just going through life with maybes. And every time you don't make a decision, it's like leaving a tab open in your head, all right? And all these add up. And, all, and what happens when you get loads of tabs open on your computer, your computer eventually just slows down, grinds to a halt and crashes. And that's gonna be the same for you. Maybe you know your brain's not gonna crash, but you're just gonna slow down and get to the point where you're not really moving because you've got so much mental clutter in your head. You're chewing up your bandwidth. And this is a great thing about minimalism. Like I see a lot of videos online about minimalism, just focusing it on like the possessions and how they have little possessions. The best thing about minimalism is the mental focus and, and the mental bandwidth that it frees up. It really allows you to strip away a lot of the stuff that's in your head that you don't care about. So you, you have more brain power to focus on what's truly important. I'll make future videos on this because this is a big topic, right? But most people are going through life like with a thousand browser tabs open and loads of decisions that they just haven't decided on and it's just slowing them down, all right? So what are some actionable steps that you can take in order to not make the same mistakes, okay? How can we take the same actions like these hyper successful people that we know and hopefully get similar results? Well, I've got four steps here. The first one is to obviously act quickly, okay? Never, number two, never say maybe and avoid maybe people. Now I could make a whole video on this itself, but guys, avoid maybe people, especially fellas who are watching this. If a girl ever says maybe to you, never speak to that girl ever again. Like the people that I want in my life, they either really wanna be in my life or they're just not in my life at all, okay? I hate maybe people i avoid maybe people like the plague it's like it's almost like a, an infectious disease okay remove maybe people from from your life okay and, and that goes the same with friends as well like if you meet a girl and she's not like a hundred percent into you well you just need to find a new one you just need to work on yourself develop yourself get to a certain point <clears throat> where you do have girls like that now when i was younger i didn't have these kind of options but as i'm like you know developing myself and leveling up and you know progressing I am starting to notice that I do have these options available to me now but if you're in a position where you don't have that then don't forget about girls just focus on you develop you and eventually that will come okay but I don't want to get off track here that's a topic for another video step number three is embrace mistakes okay it, mistakes are inevitable mistakes are a prerequisite to success the modern education system is broken, okay? We have to like undo a lot of mental programming. I've made previous videos on mental programming, but we really have to like change our relationship to making mistakes. Like what if we had the mindset that we have to make mistakes before we can succeed? Expect to make mistakes. If you haven't made mistakes yet, ask yourself, why have I not made any mistakes? What's going wrong? I should be making mistakes. If you have this mindset, you're gonna do so much better, all right? That's step number three. Step number four is to practice on small things first. Now, some things that you might be taking a long time to decide on. You know, how long does it take you to decide to watch a YouTube video, okay? How long does it decide, how long does it take you to decide to watch something on Netflix? 
How long does it take you to decide what you're gonna have for dinner? All right, practice on making instant decisions. What are you gonna watch on YouTube? My vid, hopefully. <laughs> what are you gonna watch on Netflix? I don't know, just decide straight away. What are you gonna have for dinner tonight? Just decide. Practice on the small things that are going on in your life, okay? Get really good at making decisions fast and then just taking action, okay? And eventually, once you've once you've got good at you know making the small decisions quickly you'll then eventually you know get better at making you know the harder decisions the bigger decisions faster all right and if you do these things you'll be in a much better position you've money loves speed success loves speed don't wait around we literally only have one life we have one chance at this game called life <clears throat> and you can spend this life overthinking and procrastinating and waiting for the right time to feel ready or you can just get on move fast break things and actually make some progress and do something meaningful with your life okay so i want you to ask yourself what are you putting off right now chances are there's something in your life right now that you're just not dealing with you've just put it to the side you've just swept it under the carpet and you're just putting it off and you're not dealing with it right now before you watch another video before you do anything deal with it make a decision decide is this something you're going to do is this something you're not going to do make a decision and then it's done the browser tab is closed how many browser tabs do you have left open right now how many things are slowing you down okay don't watch another video go take action you will never ever ever feel ready Go take action, close those browser tabs, and just free up mental bandwidth so you can focus on exactly what's important. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Speaking of taking action, if you want to get in the best shape of your life, either physically or mentally, and you want to work with someone who can optimize your health, your training, your nutrition, and get you feeling and looking better than ever before, then you can head to jamesweetland.com for coaching. I've also got a new course launching soon and community uh, It's just centered around a lot of the, you know, uh, topics that I've just talked about and, you know, a lot of the videos where I go into more depth about how to live a productive, meaningful and healthy life. If that interests you, the link will be in the description down below. And other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.